Uh, very smooth. So for today's vocabulary, number one, to kick off. Uh, to kick something off is to begin something. If you're starting an event or if you're starting a new year or if you are just watching a game, the, the kickoff is actually uh, uh, maybe originally from football, I think, when you begin the game, just kick the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, pretense. Uh, a pretense is, uh, I, I hate when, when this happens sometimes, uh, you, you want something to, to happen one way and you assume that the purpose of something, uh, uh, you have an assumption, you assume that there's a, a purpose that's different than reality. So um, if, uh, if, like, if a guy calls you and says, uh, hey, I, I really want to talk to you about something really important, uh, it's work related, and uh, can you meet me just for a few minutes um, for coffee or something? Mm -hmm. And then you guys meet, and then he's like, hey, you want to go on a date? You had a completely different pretense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the pretense is you assumed it would be something different, and then he just, uh, he invited you on the pretense that you thought it was going to be a serious conversation, and then he asked you out. I don't know if people do that. <laughs> uh, and then number three, misstep. A misstep is basically you, you just kind of take a, a step in the wrong direction. Uh, and you, usually a misstep is just a, a small mistake, a smaller mistake, yeah. Nothing that big. Number four, reciprocate. When you reciprocate something, uh, this is actually very important to know. This is when you are um, showing, uh, either by through conversation or through your actions, that um, uh, you're showing something mutually uh, and similar to the other party, to the other person, to the other organization. Uh, so if you are reciprocating to, uh, like, your boss, your boss is, is telling you, okay, we need to do this, we need to do this, we need to do this. The way you can reciprocate to your boss is say, okay, uh, well, we have a strategy for this, and I think that's a good idea because we can do it this way. And then that way it shows your boss that you are considering uh, the, what, what they're saying. You can reciprocate when you're on a date. When you're on a date, someone will say, um, you know, uh, you know I, I, don't really like, uh, I don't really like going to movies that much. I, I enjoy going out and experiencing like adventure. And then you could say, oh, I love that too. I like to go hiking and I like to go bungee jumping. And that's reciprocating. Number five, pay it forward. This is a very good expression as well. Paying it forward is when you are just um, giving to others. Uh, that's it. You're just being kind and giving to others. Mm -hmm. Pay it forward can be like, we, we have this thing in the U.S. that people do, and it's really fun. And uh, it's like if you are in a drive through for Starbucks, mm -hmm. the person in front will pay for your coffee. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, and then when you... Uh, drive up, the person at the window will say, hey, uh, they, they paid for your coffee, just pay it forward and pay for the next person's coffee. And then like everyone in the line will pay for each other's coffee. Wow. It's really fun. Uh, paying it forward can also be um, if you uh, help someone who maybe they, they really needed help with, with their work or with uh, finishing uh, something for a school to pass, and, uh, and then they're very thankful to you. And they're like, oh my God, I don't know how I can thank you. You really helped me. And then you can say, okay, just pay it forward. Like, give that kindness to someone else. Mm. Keep passing that kindness along. Number six, be on board with. Uh, when you're on board with something, that means you agree with something. You uh, are ready to join that... Uh, that um, Either if it's like an initiative or if it's like a, uh, an agreement, you, you're ready to, to join. So, uh, you know, if there's like a, a new project that you heard about and there's a, a team starting, uh, you want to be on board with that team because you, you think it sounds really interesting and they could use your skills. Number seven, reach out. 
to, to reach out is try to uh, communicate. But also when you're trying to reach out, it can also be like you're trying to um, help someone. Mm -hmm. So you see that like someone in your family, like your brother or a sister, uh, maybe for like a week they've been really stressed out and you can see the signs, you know, when you talk to them or they're just, they don't have time for anything. So you try to reach out to them. Hey, is there something I can do for you? That can I, how, how can I help you? That's reaching out. And uh, last number eight, in return. Uh, that's basically when you, uh, it's, it's like you are exchanging or barter, bartering. So, um, you know, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a coffee in return for your hard work. Something like that. <laughs>